celebrating all things Taiwan and New Zealand coming together here at the Fresh Factory as part of the 2017 New Zealand International Chefs Challenge and the Taiwanese Food Festival Auckland. Now over 40 chefs from around the globe have come together here and they've created beautiful dishes uh, only from New Zealand ingredients making a Taiwanese dish and the dishes are just spectacular. Let's go and have a look. Our team of judges here at the 2017 International Chefs Challenge have done a great job and led beautifully by Grant Kitchen. Grant, firstly, happy birthday. Thank you very much. And your haka at the start of the event was really quite magical. Thank you. Uh, it was, yeah, it was interesting. I was sort of thrown in the deep end actually when I um, was told that I was doing a speech. So I said, well, we might as well have a uh, Māori component to it. So it was great. And out of the amazing, the 40 chefs that are here from travel all over the globe to create their goodness with New Zealand produce. What 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 did you pick up from that? Oh, you know, the, their adaptability, you know, to be able to utilise our cuisine here in New Zealand and under the trials and tribulations of such a short period of time and to produce what they had was fantastic. Yeah. And what about the final winner? Any good, any words? Well, I mean, how calm the, all those competitors were during that competition, they didn't look like they put a bead of sweat on them at all. And to produce what they had in that shorter period of time. They only had an hour to produce those three dishes uh, and it was all at a very international high quality um, calibre. And isn't it lovely to see Taiwan and New Zealand coming together and connecting over food? Oh, most definitely. And as it was said earlier, you know, that you know, food knows no creed, no race, no religion. Um, and, uh, you know, as a, as a credit to the organisers here, how uh, great this event has been so far. Organiser of this wonderful event here at the Fresh Factory is Joanna Cheng from the Chunghua Women's Business Association. Am I saying it right, Joanna? Yes. <laughs> Good. You must be so proud. Over 40 chefs have come together here and, you know, just really set the place alight. Yes, because uh, this, is, this is the first year we run the uh, Challenge International Chef and we hope can run every year, uh, invite more chefs from overseas and they can use the New Zealand Flakes fruit and fresh uh, ingredient to do the baked meal in the world. Janet is the president of the Taiwanese Business Association and been one of the key people putting this festival together. You must be very proud. Yeah, I'm very thank you for many people supporting this event. Uh, yeah. And I welcome for the uh, uh, event uh, yeah, tonight. Yeah. Isn't it wonderful to watch Taiwanese culture and food blossoming in New Zealand? Yeah, uh, we uh, hold this uh, event. We hope we can uh, promote the food culture exchange and uh, promote the economic uh, between Taiwan and New Zealand. It must have been a very difficult job judging this beautiful food and one of the judges here today was Mr. Shah and was it, it must have been quite the experience. Yes, it's very serious. I think all the competitors, they uh, work very hard. I think, I, I, what I, I know in, uh, they, they didn't sleep all night. Last I night. had heard that. Yes, they, they work very hard, they are serious, and they really want to do something, they really want to do something different, but actually it's different. Someone's watching now that doesn't really understand Taiwanese food, can you describe it? Because to me, it's like a, the best of Chinese food with a little bit of Southeast Asian, a little bit of Japanese. What you describe it better than me? Actually, the Taiwanese people, they love to do research and development. So, uh, our, our cuisine is actually based on the Chinese cuisine, Aboriginal cuisine, Japanese style. It's a mix. However, it just tastes better. This event and how glorious it is wouldn't have happened without the support of AT, Fresh, Red Carpet NZ, TVNZ, the Chunghua Women's Association and the Taiwanese Business Association.